Hey there, welcome back to Short Takes 331. Today we're going to have a quick video on the geometric sum and the geometric series. So let's jump right in. So this is what we call the geometric sum. Is uh, We're going to call it S sub n, and it's a sum from k equals 0 to n of x to the power of k. And so x here is a variable, it could be anything in principle. And what we call the geometric series is of course the sum from uh, uh, k equals 0 to infinity of x to the power of k. So it's Sn taking the limit n going to infinity. So the question is, what is S of n? Can we figure out what S of n is? Well, of course, if you just want to write it as a polynomial, then it's just 1 plus x plus x squared plus so and so and so up until x to the power n. And that's all there is in principle. But we can do better than that. And, and to do that, you notice that if you multiply by x, all of these terms, you get basically the same thing, but with one extra power and you remove the one. And so basically you get x plus x squared and so on up to x to the power n plus one. And so this tells us right away that if you sum one on both sides of the equation, you get one plus x plus x squared plus x to the power n plus one, which is of course sn plus one. So one plus x times sn is sn plus one. But we know what sn plus one is actually. So sn plus one is exactly this whole thing which is really just Sn plus one more term, which is x to the power n plus one. And so in other words, Sn plus one is Sn plus uh, x to the power n plus one. And so this, uh, then this first statement is what we're going to use, that one plus x times Sn is Sn plus one. And the second statement we're going to use is that Sn plus one is Sn plus x to the power n plus one. And so this tells us then that the left-hand side, one plus x S of n is equal to S of n itself, if you add this one extra term, x to the power n plus one. And so this allows us to solve for s sub n. And that's very easy to do. So you go ahead and you put all the terms involving s sub n on the right side of the equation and all the terms not involving s sub n on the left side of the equation. And so we have one minus x to the power n plus one. It's s sub n times one minus x. Okay, so it's the one and then the minus x comes from this term. And so it's one minus x. And so of course, as long as, 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 long as x is different from one, you can put this on the other side of the equation. Okay, so if x is one, what do you do? Well, if x is one, it's very easy. Uh, what is Sn if x is one? Well, it's just n plus one, right? So if, if, if uh, uh, x is one, then we're adding n plus one terms. And, and so that's just that we know the result. But if x is different from one, then we know that by solving this equation, putting one minus x on the other side of the equation, we get that Sn is one minus x to the power n plus one, the whole thing divided by one minus x. This makes sense, by the way. We know that S sub n is a polynomial of degree n. The top here is a polynomial of degree n plus one, and so we divide it by a polynomial of degree one. And so, okay, that makes sense, that checks out. And that's one way to remember. If you don't remember what goes in the exponent here, remember that uh, when you're divided by one minus x, you're subtracting one degree on this polynomial. That helps me remember sometimes uh, when I, when I uh, don't have it at the tip of my fingers. Now, uh, from this equation, if uh, x in magnitude is less than one, then we know that when we take n to infinity, this, the limit of this uh, little number here is going to go to zero. And so if that goes to zero, if that bit goes to zero, that, uh, as n goes to infinity, then the limit as, as, n goes to, as, uh, as n goes to infinity of s sub n is just one over one minus x, and there's nothing else. So this is the sum then of the geometric series of powers of x, uh, x to the k, starting from k equals zero all the way to infinity. And, and again, this is simply because x to the power n plus 1, as long as the magnitude of x is less than 1, is, uh, um, is, 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 is 0. So this limit x to the n plus 1 is 0. And so we're left with Sn going to 1 over 1 minus x. And that is it. That was this quick reminder. Uh, that's, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you're looking for a tutor in physics or math, in English or in Spanish, you can contact me at shorttakes331 at gmail.com or you can leave a message in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you next time.